Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video, I just want to highlight one of these cool projects that I came across. This is the LED backboard by Jeremy Shepard. It basically ties right into HA, record your hits, misses, swishes, very cool stats. Uh, in this video, we're going to dive into the parts he used, uh, some of the YAML code he's running, and just some demos of how it works. So check it out. So the first thing we can look at in Jeremy's project are the hardware. So it's two basic systems. It's an infrared like laser beam. Um, we can see it directly mounted right underneath the hoop. So basically when, uh, when a basket is, sh is shot, as it goes into the hoop and it breaks the beam, that's counted as a basket. The other part is mounted along the back. So if we look at this box, this is basically a vibration sensor. And this is how Jeremy determines when the ball is shot, if it bounces on the rim or the backboard, this vibration sensor will recognize that. If the beam is not broken, then it's a miss. And if the beam is broken within a certain amount of time, it's a basket. So those are our basic variables. It's does the backboard shake? and does the ball go into the basket? And that's gonna determine whether it's a miss, a, a bank shot, or a swish, right? If there's no vibration and we break the beam, that designates a swish. We'll look at the YAML code a little later, but uh, let's dig into that vibration box right now. So the vibration box is pretty straightforward. Check the blog post, uh, there'll be a link in the description for a wiring diagram on it, but it basically is three parts. It's the buck converter. So this is the step down converter that's gonna take our mains voltage and bring it down to an acceptable level for the D1 mini. And that's the second uh, part of this. So this is the Wi-Fi part. So the D1 mini will provide Wi-Fi and it'll, it'll actually host the ESP YAML code. Uh, Jeremy's using ESP YAML for this, so this will run the code that basically does all the logic for you know, the switches and countdown uh, kind of stats and metrics. And then the third piece is the actual vibration sensor. So this is an SW420 motion sensor. It's a vibration switch, so uh, you can tune it for different sensitivity, but basically when all of this is housed in what looks like a 3D printed box, basically you have the mains coming in top, going into the buck converter, which then translates the voltage down to the D1 mini, which powers the vibration sensor. So when the ball hits the backboard or the rim, the whole thing shakes, the vibr vibration sensor picks up the vibrations and then relays that information via Wi-Fi, via that D1 Mini back to, um, back to Home Assistant. And that's how we get the counters on the screen and that's how we can track all the stats for the basketball. For the YAML, I'm just gonna put it on my GitHub. So if you haven't visited my GitHub repo, there's links in the description. There's also a graphic on screen. Um, I put all the ESP home YAML in there. Uh, in the blog post, I'll have a link directly to the file. But basically, it's going to allow you to track all the stats like we talked about. And in addition to that, what Jeremy did was he put some cool basic uh, graphic effects that you can see uh, up and down, you know, throughout the backboard. So we have some like Knight Rider type stuff and just some really neat graphics. You can add to it because these are all individually addressed LEDs that he's using. And uh, yeah, so check it out. Check it out the repo. Hopefully you like this project. I think this project's pretty cool. That's why I decided to just showcase it. And uh, all in, it's about 20 bucks for probably all the parts uh, minus the LED. 
some of the parts you might even have. So if you got the basketball hoop and you want to try this cool project out, let us know in the comments if there's any questions. I'm sure Jeremy's going to be checking in to see if there's any questions and can give you any answers. And maybe we can get a wiring diagram as well. And I'll put that in the blog post. So check the blog post, check the comments, and I hope you like this one. Take care. Bye.